We're playing Sable. This game, I know nothing about it. I've heard that it's something to look out for. I've heard there's puzzles. Looks pretty. Adventure? I don't know. It sounds nice, too. Okay. I can barely see these. Starting a new game. So all I've seen with this game is that you buzz around on a little hover bike thing like you do in Destiny. And there's side quests. It apparently has eight hours of story. Twelve if you're trying to do all the nitpicky stuff, which we do here. <laughs> Shed works. And it's all just like flat images as soon as like as far as I can tell not really much texture just straight images yes it's a bug what's the bug doing is the bug in 40 I'm assuming that's us I think you can customize your character too stare at it though what is on my eyes oh okay I thought I was waiting for me to move or something quest started the ceremony use WSCD what's next hi face there you're a door aren't you Oh god, the camera's really slow. No. Wait. It's like the faster I move my mouse, the slower the camera goes. Maybe it's because it's locked to one speed. Is this a controller game? Uh. Physics. The physics in this game is amazing. Okay. Can I jump? Yep. I hit the button, open the door. Does it close when I get off? Nope. Really? Uh, to the vine, I guess? Keep an eye on your stamina. Okay, Link. Why am I climbing the door? Is there a button back here I didn't get? I should head back to camp. Settings. Controls. That's a little better. Turn that down later. Where's the button? Oh my, I can't believe I didn't see this. Wait, you automatically crouched. I'm not clicking anything other than W and it's doing this. Do that every time I run into a wall? No, it climbs it. Okay. Well, there's there's some texture of uh, outlined rocks. Oh my god. Do I take fall damage? No. Hold. Okay. Stamina, though. Okay. Like plucked anything off the bush. Up the steps. The character doesn't even move in 60 frames. Well, no. The character model 
position wise moves 60 frames but like her like animations I keep seeing her I don't know why I think it's a woman maybe it's just a young boy with a high voice I don't know but were you throwing that up and down I can feel Jaddy smiling behind Oh, this must be Jetty. I can feel Jetty smiling beneath her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing a little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Uh, I know, I know. I tell Jetty, I tell Jetty that I know. That it hasn't quite sunk in yet. Sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promised you, Sable. You're fine. I promise. But I do not. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you start it, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? I'm gonna say no because I don't think. Oh wait, no. It's talking about the bike, like on the title. You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid your hands were a little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. Okay. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I lo that I loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful it would how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her! She can do whatever she wants. Jetty reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. Oh, that's my mask! And you can, Sable. I take a breath. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm staying. I think I'm ready. I thank Jaddy for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that she that I think I'm ready. I know you are. So let's get you started. You'll need to talk to Hylel and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike. And Hylel will share something, well, let's say, as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I must expect, I think I might suspect what Jotty's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose, after that, I suppose we'll see you all. I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it, to choose well and quickly. So that I won't get so that I won't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Ciso. But you know how he is, Edward Sizzo hands. The compass. I have something to give you. A compass. To help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you may say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Go on. Go on. It's nearly time. Okay. Come pass. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. Oh, I can open things. Logging in. Hello, Sable. One room message zero. Have a good day. Nobody loves you. Oh. I go up there first. 
What am I climbing on? Okay. Wait, is there... Oh, that sun's actually going down. Oh, interesting. Hi there. Caesar looks busy. I should leave her to it. Okay. What's this? This chest? This secret chesties? I got 20... Uh, Cheetos. Cheez-Its? Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its? <laughs> oh, there's stuff down there, too. Oh, hi, guy. Oh, hi, person. As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know what that means. I don't know how she's done it. That Elaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Ellie Elaria? Do you want me to go get her back? Does she need help? No, she's fine. And I'll get her. I'm just... Parenting. <laughs> I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Who are you? Oh. No, what you doing up there? Oh god. I don't think I can make that jump. I guess I could. Ah. Up. Up. Woo! No! Up! Why'd you stop? <laughs> Wait, do I have a face? Hold on. I do not. Um, can I take the bucket? I can take the bucket. Bye. This is mine now. Okay. Mammals! What are you doing? Oh, wait. There's a thing over here. I'm gonna go steal it. More Cheez Its. So I need to talk to you. Just take the bike. Ibex can. Hi, friend. You're Driz, right? Or dri dri what was it? Though I have not. No, bleh, though I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to race up the Driz. Driz is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. Hopefully it's not that one behind me. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driz turns with a bit of a start. Uh, Sable! Hello! I was told you have something special for me. Something special? I nod very meaningfully, but he doesn't seem to get the hint. I make a leading gesture, slowly trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. But I can't but I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I asked her asked Riz if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike He yells it as if it's an idea he's just had. Your bike your bike? Yes, of course, yes. Right. Your bike. That I meant to... That I was meant to... That I prepared for you... Because today's your... Blighting. Yes, of course, right. Yes, yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you in a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial? 
Yes, exactly, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can have their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike. That's... Bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driz does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driz gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester, if I've ever seen one. I'll give it a go. Really? I mean, yes. Good. Be gentle, though. This sand cutter's older than Jaddy. You treat her with respect. Now, ride the bike through the ring and the back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Uh, when you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Okay. Or is that the moon? Oh, the sun's good. Mm, that's the moon. Hi, friend. That's a little bumpy. I returned to Driz, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if it was if you're on fire, even a little bit. Is that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Everything sounded normal. Well, the sand cutters must like you then. It's usually a little more temperamental with new riders, but you're not even a little bit on fire. Have you already been in the halal? Have you already been by by halal? Oh right, I knew they'd forgotten about halal. And thanks to Driz for the reminder, before at least nudging him a little bit about the, about the bike, I ask him if I'll be getting one. Well, you're getting... Well, you're getting the use of the of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My, my little errands. My little errands? And Halal got... And Halal got something to show you, too. Help you out with, with more of a... With more of that uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence, with my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driz very much for his help in his bike, and I depart for Hala. Bike. Eh, eh. Oh, God. Oh, another bike. There's nothing in here. Not even a little bit. Okay. Um, do I need to climb to get to you? Probably don't, but I'm doing it anyway. Oh, I guess I'm not. Up the ladder. Um. Are you halal? Oh, you're the one with the floating rock. As I approach halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated hal halal's vi verve and vigor. <laughs> and on a day like to this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for balance. I will take this. Halal, hand, Halal hands me a small round stone as it nestles into my palm. I feel a warmth a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find, find it softly electric. 
like static on cloth. What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but hello. What is this? Oh, Sable, you can't ha you can't leave without it. What I've given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? Tell hell what that I feel. Connectedness, fuzziness, electricity. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. Look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. Per perpetual. They suck up its power like sponges. And hold it there for you to channel. Right now, it's empty or dormant. And waiting for you to fill it up. Ask how I do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. I don't see it. I don't claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their mood and a time like this. Come back to me once you're done. I want to hear all about it. Okay. I'm climbing. You want me to go where? That way? Okie day. Jesus. Okay. Going this way. Is that the temple you were talking about? Pointing this way? Oh no, I see something now. Like dust. But I don't have the ability to fight, so I don't. I assume I'm not going to run into anything. Other than rocks. Is that the temple? Hi, Lal. Construction's unclear. God, it's the glider. Ah! Okay. We I made it. Oh, it's windy. I go... Can I go vertical? Oh, you're not actually... Okay, no, I can't. Alright. I was about to be concerned. This wall? Follow the, the follow the debris? Up. I can't oh hello. Interesting. Chum egg. Thanks. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and as hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. They must be a good place to deliver these. There must be a good place to deliver these. Okay. Chum egg. Okay. Um. Doors already open. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Oh! Um. Oh no. What? What do? I'm trapped in here forever. Can I get up this? Not very much color to this game, is there? Maybe it's because it's nighttime. Oh my god. There was a ladder down there. Am I gonna make that? Uh, yes! Oh jeez. Only just. Or she's it's. Yep. You jealous of my cheez it's? Uh, 
Um, can I make that? Shoot. I can't make that. I still don't have a choice. I have to make it. Uh. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Am I just going down there? Let's just get back up. I'm sorry, what? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a strong foot I have. Jeez. Ding. The stone thrums like a beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? What? I never got a question. Hello? What was the question? I am ready for Rohana to know me? Who's Rohana? I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in the sacred... In this sacred place, I know I am in her sight. Hold on to it. Oh, you let it go. Lost forever. But there's some color. Ketchup and mustard time. I now have a shell. A shield for a barrier. Bubble pop. And now I'm knocked out for days. Oh god. Oh jeez. Bye bye color. <sighs> oh, it's just in my hand, okay. Where'd it go? Chohai Law, the activated gliding stone. Person holds space to glide. Okay. <laughs> Color! Oh, it just automatically glides you at the top of your jump. Okay. If you hold it down. Go. Glide. The floor falling out was part of the trial. My shadow. Look at my shadow. Oh no. I'm leaving my glider behind. Come on. We That's not the Is that the town? No, it's this way. And we're back. Okay. Oh, there's a person under there. Oh my god, get off the get off the bike. Hey kid. What you doing?
He's showing me secrets. There's secrets in here? This looks like a secret. The dye bottle for the colors of the Ibexi red bike. Oh. I can paint my bike red whenever I get it. Hot rod red! Well, thank you for showing me that. If there's anything else in this town I should discover. Maybe. For now, let's climb this. And... Drop down here? Yeah! Alright, back to this guy. Hello? You were hiding stuff from me! Oh. When I return to Halal, it's very clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. <laughs> it's incredible! Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Exciting, true freedom, strange, a little bit queasy, safe, like a warm hug. I tell Halal that I feel almost embraced by the perpetual. Warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling just floating in the breeze. But I suppose it's best that, the, that it fades with age, hmm? or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be too out there. I'd just be... I'd just be out there having myself into... Heaving myself into chasms. I'll heave into... <laughs> I'll heave myself into a chasm for you. I tell Hull I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf. They giggle. Well, that's what I like to hear. I know people manage to pick it up. I know where people manage to keep it up, but I don't know... But I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Halal laughs, even if there's a bit of regret. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss. Um, I don't know what my expression is, because I'm not looking at myself. I think about that, but, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider much further. I am saying goodbye to my cl my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To those, the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. To lose. You're going to love it out there, Zyl, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about the ritual, and independence, and all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice, and for their help, and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures towards the tower, it seems. Sizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. I'll go talk to Sizo first, then. Sizo! Cizo, I have a bubble. Do you want to see it? Cizo. Cizo is an outclanner to the Ibexi. But I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall. I think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts. And by their training and their code, must go where they are needed. But Cizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment, first and foremost. Sorry as any of us are connected, she's one of us. I think there's perception among other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular? Or that our designation of Ibexi versus outclanners suggests some nervous suggests some nervous other otherings of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and we know, and we must leave them behind. But are all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cizo did. Are you? I can't tell. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Better now. Better now that I'm getting a bike. Excited for my bike. A bit worried. Am I really getting a bike? 
excited for my my bike. Sizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person. What did I see in the distance? She's quite a serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. <clears throat> yes, Yanni told me how excited you are. Sizo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along for your bike to get will be coming along to get your bike together. But I think he may have I knew it. What? I hadn't seen I haven't I hadn't meant to say that out loud. So I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driz for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked were I tasked with so many odd and odds and ends, I might just be as scattered. And besides, this'll be good for you. I don't think I can do that. I want, I want you to scavenge those hover bike parts yourself. I'm gonna make my own hover bike. No, you are not going to make your hover bike. You are going to build your hover bike. What's the difference? <laughs> to to make suggests you are creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. A navigator. This navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful for finding old parts. Ask is where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the rear in the ruined ships in fragments spread apart. A good start will be the ship down there near camp. Oh, okay. You'll find another one up that great rock near the other side of the canyon. Oh, okay. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. We'll be back before you know it. Together we will create something new out of the old. Okay, here's my compass. Why am I sitting? Are you doing something? Are you are you doing something or am I stuck? Hello? Oh, I hit E. Press N to use the navigator to mark interesting landmarks to appear on your compass. You can also add and remove landmarks from the map screen by placing a mark on the ship's Tizo pointed out to you. Okay, place the marker. Can I please turn with D? Come on. Okay. As far as the eye can see. Can I go up further? What's that over there? And then this thing here. Okay. Exit. Uh, that's W. What is that? Oh, it's the bike. Right. That's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, I will be doing more of this. I'm doing more tonight. Um, Till next time. Uh, I guess this one's over. Bye.